Hello everyone, my name is Disco Bapkin, and thank you for joining me on the next episode of Game Dev Tycoon. So, uh, yeah, let's jump right in, I guess. Um, last episode, I think we had maybe one, maybe even two good games. And of course, in two months, the G64 will be taken off the market. Also, I just noticed that my timer isn't going on, even though I could actually probably see it about from my voice recording or from Audacity, but let's just use the good old clock there. Alright, so that's a thing. Do we. We have. Uh, we had Zombieland here. We have the planes. Okay. Um, I think these, yeah. So these were the two games we did last episode. Planes in the air, pretty decent. Also, Zombieland here, pretty much with the same score. Obviously, sold a lot more because it was on the TES, which a lot more people use. So that's the thing. Could do marketing. Do we want to. Mmm. Mmm. Um, very tempted to do just this, this, quickly so that, um, we can maybe get a new one, possibly, hopefully. Oh, there we go. I don't know if you can hear those. Maybe, maybe not. Um, so, let's, what did we get? So, that's a thing. Could do like... Like, let's just research some of this stuff out of the way. Let's see if we can maybe get a good one now. If not, then we won't do any more. Hardware manufacturers around the world were surprised today as Covado, the creator of the popular 64, has filed for bankruptcy. Covado failed to introduce a higher priced alternative and was forced to shut down production of the C G64. The platform will retire from the market early next year. Cool. Come on, John. Don't scratch your head. And there. What did we get? Hopefully something... Game. <laughs> oh, I like that. We can do a game dev game inside game dev. That's actually quite cool. We might do that soon. Soon enough. First, I think it's time for a game. Should we do... But is it... Oh, we have casual. Great. So... Um, it's a bit odd because I'm thinking about like just dance here, but um, I don't know. Um, it could be a bit odd. Maybe let's try. Let's try. Of course, the Terminator. It's an everyone game, and it's this is gonna be this is so um original. Just dancing. <laughs> yeah. To the graphics, yeah, please, thank you. There we go. Uh, G64 is no longer supported. You've released two games for the platform and earned a whopping 351,000. That is not too shabby. <laughs> Bye. I'm assuming this is like um, important. We we'll probably save all some money with that thing. That's probably good. I have the feeling that this game is gonna blow us the whole new planet. Right. It's a bit odd. <laughs> These are a bit odd decisions. I'll guess level design. Maybe that. I don't need. It's such an odd game. Dance casual. Like, what? Who does this kind of stuff? Me! Yeah. Oh my, that's gonna be important. And maybe like that. Hopefully this will work. Let's hope for the best, okay? <laughs> let's, let's hope for the best. Um, two, one, yeah. Yeah, no records are broken. No. We leveled up though a lot of stuff. We have engine. We have gameplay. We have level design. We have AI. Oh, it was... No? No, it leveled up. World design, graphic... 2D graphics didn't, but sound and good old John Lennon, us, did. Better user expression level, open world, oh my god, all good stuff. Can we actually do anything of those? Oh, we can do actually all of them, no. Yeah, all one. One research point. Cool, let's start. Let's start with the cheap, cheapy one. Go. 
Need one more research point, which we can, which we can. Oh my god, I'm actually scared. Oh my. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Oh, he got me. <laughs> of all of the fucking games. <laughs> Just dancing. My fucking god. I honestly can't believe it. This, I, <laughs> I was just like, oh, let's hope that this is the game that blows us to our whole other planet. It fucking did. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, <laughs> I can't fucking believe this. I hope we can do this just for the one research point. We could have, oh my. <laughs> Look at the rank of week two. Oh, 50k units. Oh my fucking. We are nearly at a million dollars. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. I can't believe it. 100,000. <laughs> oh my god. This is fantastic. Will you actually get. I think we will. Oh my god. The latest games. Game by Pumpkin Games have received very positive positive reviews overall. Informed Gamer gave it a 10, saying everyone loves it. If Pumpkin Games continues to innovate like this, they might become a new fan favorite. Congratulations! You have made quite a name for yourself and have saved up a lot of capital. If you want to grow the company further than moving in your office is the next step. I found the perfect office situated in the technology. Um, uh, yes, this is 150k, but man! The office is gonna be great, so, uh, move. Oh my god, look at that, pumpkin games! Welcome to your new office. Now that you have a bigger office, you can also hire staff and forge a world-class development team to make even better games. You now may also train yourself and your staff to improve skills. Let's try this by completing a management course, which is required before you can know to get started. Yeah. I want, it's this, this, this. No, no, it's the train one. Train, that's this one. But it actually it's zero. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. Also, we can improve your guys in this um, window. Oh my fucking god, we're nearly at 200k. Jeez, we might actually get to 200k. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> this fucking game. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you can research some of this stuff because we want to make soon enough a new. Crazy engine, we have no money, we have all kinds of stuff. Oh my, will we actually? 5k, come on. No! Come on, come on, come on. 3k. This might be the last week. Maybe not. We maybe didn't. No. Oh, 1.3 million. She's just dancing. <laughs> can't fucking believe it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just dancing. <laughs> we have 2.4k fans. I think we started with like 1k maybe today. Oh, that's that's a thing. Now, I think it's time. I think it is time. A mono sound. Um, uh, yeah. And this is gonna be called. Oh no. The ter oh, ter min oh my. If I could just write one word. Version 2.0. Ooh, 230k. Let's do it. Just just dipped back to under 1 million. It's fine. Also, what you gotta remember if you're doing this and moved, the monthly cost is now four times as big. <laughs> even though we are just alone here. We don't even use any of this stuff. There is a TV, a. I guess like a mi conference or some kind of table. We have a water machine. We never use those things. So. When has announced that they will release a new gaming console in two months, when Oasis comes with 16-bit graphics and sound which promise a new kind of gaming experience. When I said at the announcement the Oasis is a new start, it will be the genesis of, uh, of a new generation of gaming consoles and we believe it will do very well in the market. Some of the games already announced for the console success that will appeal, appeal to more mature audiences. When we get this engine, I think it's time to do a PC game. I just have this feeling. Um, it's gonna take a little time. It's fine. Also, the games will be now a lot more expensive because we use this kind of engine. Oh my god, we did it. The Terminator version 2.0 is now complete. Hey, <laughs> well, actually, can we do the, um, whatchamacallit? 
Game Report. We nine. Whew. Over 1,000 fans just of one game. My fucking god. Now the problem is obviously if I decide to do a dance game. What is this? Um, this is a very special offer. Our agents have recently managed to borrow some research information which might be in might be of interest to you. Um, should we? Agent Blowfish. This might be a scam and we might just lose 27k. But you know what? I like living on the edge. Oh, we got evolution for free. Well, yeah, that's that's the thing. 27k. Dance and Casual is a great combination. AI seems to not... I think that's what's right. We probably we basically didn't learn anything new. So what did we unlock? School. Well. Well. Now I really just wanna... What's the game history like? We have... Do we have... Oh my god. You know what, guys? It's year three, it's gonna be two years, two and a half years, and space stretch. Oh my god, it's already. Oh my. Did I actually. Oh, well, well. We started with Space Sievers, which was the name. Then we actually, for some reason, did Space Stretch 2. And this is because of the fact that um, in my single player, I did a sci fi strategy game called Space Stretch. So, we will do, obviously. um. Space is a two. Yeah, let's do it. Um, um where are you? Sci-fi strategy. For the PC with the Terminator. And it's gonna be space sieves. Space. Uh, yes. Oh my. Um what? Two. Basically two. Okay. Um mature. Yes indeed. And uh, next. 2D graphics V2. Yes, please. Gimme that. And the winner Oasis has been released. Engine is quite important, but is gameplay more important? We don't know. Let's let's try that out. Of course, we want better user experience. Even though story and quest isn't important. Let's have the linear story. It won't hurt, I'm assuming. So uh, we're gonna take a big hit to our cash, but um if this is a hit. And the engine is something else. My fucking god. AI, boom. Um, let's do, I guess, something like this. I don't know. Maybe. That looks decent enough. That looks decent enough. Oh, Space Sieves 2. If, to, if this is a hit. Ooh, graphics is not for this sound. Is sound more important? I don't know. But I'm just surprised that the graphic is not important. But the sound... Is it like even lower? Like maybe this? Um, and let's try it. Let's, let's equal this out. Okay. Boom! Whew. Hi, I'm Steve O'Connell. I reported for Planet GG. We heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Which, like, yeah, I will like to be. Great, thank you for your time. We will hope to interview next week. Great. Will you? Oh, there we go. Planet GC has recently published an interview with Pumpkin Games. According to the interview, the company is working on its first game targeted at mature players. John Lennon, <laughs> owner and CEO of, Pum CEO of Pumpkin Games, said, We think that players are looking for more mature content in games and we are willing to take risks to give it to them. Many industry experts say that sooner or later games with mature audiences, with mature themes will become more common. We are curious to see how the market will react to these games. We get hype, obviously. Developing a great game is not the only recipe for success. It is essential to build hype to ensure that players are excited about the game. In the beginning of your career, hype is mostly generated through random events, but once you gain more experience, you can use marketing and other strategies to generate hype. Let's iron out the bugs. Come on, come on. No, no, no! Why? No! Oh, no, now there's a fucking bug in the game. John, you fucking moron. Oh, no. Oh, my. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> I can't fucking believe this. 
<laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no way. Oh, come on, all games, this big bitch. Oh my. <laughs> Oh my fucking god. Nearly two. Oh my Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh guys, I think we did it. <laughs> oh my fucking. Space is the newest game for Pumpkin Games. It's caused a storm of good reviews and excited customers. Industry professionals say that Space is one of the, these rare games that will set new qualities. And that's why we did the edge. That, ladies and gentlemen, is why we did the engine to set new standards to the world, gaming world. And it seems that Pumpkin Apps really has made gaming history. We fucking have! <laughs> I can't! <It's laughs> I can't! Oh, I'm laughing and I haven't eaten in like a fucking year, so my stomach hurts. I don't even care, I'm just looking at those numbers. Oh. Now that sales dipped big time. Oh my god. Guess what? Guess what? We are going to... Um, yes. We are going to use a nice little... Not to... Not to... Let's do 500... Let's do 450k. No, that's a bit... 400k. Do we want a design guy or more than a... Um, let's, let's do a tech guy. Start looking. Oh, this game. I honestly can't believe it. It seems that Pumpkin Games have recently moved into a new office in a well-known technology park and is now research searching for employees. A company which is known for games such as Space Shift 2 and Just Dancing has reportedly operated out of a garage until now. <laughs> One of the many fans of Space Shift 2 commented, I can't believe that they didn't even have a proper office. Uh, well, Space Shift 2 was actually the first game made in this office, so... You know? It was made by one game, but... um. No. You know. Oh my space is too. Whew. Yes. Um We have Susan Rodriguez. We have Mark Ward and Sally Russell. I'm actually surprised that with that money we only find guys like this. We're obviously gonna go for Sally. Good old Sally. Because he has just a lot more better points on these guys. Uh, let's go, Sally Russell. Congratulations on your first hire. Now, new employees have to settle in before they become fully effective. When a character is not fully efficient, you can see an efficient bar next to them. This bar will fill up slowly over time. Indeed. It's usually a good idea to give your new staff a welcome training to get them up to speed quickly. This will maximize their efficiency way faster than normally. To so disclose this message, yes. And medium games. One of them. Oh my god, it sold over 3 million. Also, we are tired. I mean, I would. My god. I would be tired after making such a hit game. Whew. That game, though. It really blew us to a whole new place. We have nearly 5k fans. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? You have over 3 million. My god. Oh, now what we are gonna... I think it's actually a good time to end the episode here. Next episode we'll do a game report of the good game we just did. But, um, yes. If you enjoyed what you saw, please remember to leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.